Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and it's really exciting because today I'm coming to you with a tutorial of the Prada inspired raffia bag. So let's go! For this bag I used the paper yarns by Hobby. Of course you can feel free to use paper yarns from any brand, that's just what I used. Um, this time I'm using a Raffaella yarn, it's a little bit thicker, um, but prior to this I also used the Paulina and that worked perfectly as well. Um, just bear in mind that they give a different look, um, yeah, just see what you prefer. I also used a 5mm crochet hook, some snips to cut off excess yarn, a measuring tape and some stitch markers and finally a darning needle to weave in all the ends so let's get started take your yarn and create a magic loop that's what you see me do right here Make sure it's snug on the needle, not too snug because you want to pull the stitches through and chain 51. Make sure you don't pull the stitches through too tightly or too loosely, just moderate um, to have the neatest results in the end. So after I chained 51, I am now counting five stitches from the beginning. And um, I place my hand there because that's where the first stitch is gonna go. And I yarn over and I place that stitch into the, into the fifth chain. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops again. So this is your first stitch, yay! <laughs> and you chain one, yarn over, skip the first chain and place the stitch into the chain after that. Pull through the yarn and yarn over and pull through the two and yarn over again and pull through two, two loops. Chain one, yarn over, skip one stitch and place your stitch in the stitch after, pull through the stitch or the chain and then you yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over again and pull through two loops. So this is how you create this airy stitch pattern. So once you've arrived the end of the row, you will chain three. like so. Turn your work, yarn over, skip the stitch and place it into the next. Actually here it's really easy to see where you should be placing your stitches because you are just going to follow the line of your previous row to create these holes and basically you're just just doing the same thing over and over skip a stitch and very important don't forget to chain one after you finish a stitch 
Once we've reached the end of the row again, we chain three and that's what we do every time we reach the end of the row. Chain three and turn your work and work these stitches as mentioned prior. Crochet until you reach circa 32 centimeters in length and repeat with your second piece. After that, I am measuring the side walls and the bottom of our pieces or of our piece to figure out how long our side walls should be. Since the bottom of the bag and the side walls are being worked in one piece. Now for the side wall of this bag, we will be working in single crochet so we create a magic loop like we did before pull tight but not too tight and chain six for a single crochet you place your hook into the last chain you pull through the yarn yarn over and pull through two loops pull through the yarn with your hook through the stitch and pull through two loops that's pretty simple probably the easiest stitch to crochet Once you've reached the end of your first row, chain one, turn your work, and work your stitch into the first stitch. And continue till you've reached the desired length of your side wall. Once your piece is long enough, I just double check and hold my side wall piece to my front or back piece to check whether it's long enough and then I attach with a crochet hook both pieces with a single crochet to one another this might be a little bit fiddly but basically you do the same thing as you would with a simple single crochet just that you are attaching both pieces to one another make sure that you crochet just the outer edge of each piece a further tip i would also give you is to keep the front or back piece in the front so because that's the area where the stitches are a little bit harder to go through with your hit hook so um, I make sure to keep the front or back piece to face me directly um, because the side wall is pretty easy to work because they're just single crochets um, but that's what I basically did Here I'm showing you how I work the corners. Um, it's not intimidating at all actually. I'm just showing you so that you see that it's very simple. You just align all of the edges to the corner um, with the side wall and you just work your stitches accordingly. Um, nothing different, nothing special. Um, and you will see that the side piece would just um, align itself to the edge of your front or back piece. Continue until you've attached 
the entire front piece to the side wall. As you can see, the stitches are all over even. Not too many stitches, not too less stitches, so that brings you this cool result. So now this is what it is looking once I've attached front and back piece. Make sure you keep the loop after you attach the last stitch, you work the last stitch to attach the side wall because then it remains easy to work single crochets on the entire rim of the back just for a more finished look so as you can see I'm just working into every stitch a single crochet and I'm going to continue this until I reach at the beginning I'm just working one a row of single crochets as the edge on the rim of the bag but as I mentioned prior you can feel free to customize it as you would like you could do it a little bit thicker than I am but I wanted to achieve a look that is as similar to the Prada bag as possible Yay, we're almost done. Um, after working these stitches, I'm measuring where I want my straps to be. So I'm measuring 10 centimeters from the sides and placing my stitch marker right there. Next, I am counting the stitches from the stitch marker to the side of the bag. Four stitches in total. Because I want the straps to be four stitches wide. So as you can see, I'm placing my stitches where I counted towards the edge of the back. and I'm working them in the single crochet stitch. Remember to chain one and always turn your work. Work your rows until you reach the desired length of your strap. And I am going to show you here how I attach the loose edge of the strap to the bag. Also, this is very simple. Keep the loop of your finished strap and place your hook through where your stitch marker was and pull the loop from your strap through that stitch. You can secure by chaining one. And then you work your single crochet through the rim of the bag and through the strap of the bag to attach them to each other. Once you've reached the end, you just chain one and pull tight as I'm doing right here I'm also kind of pressing everything in and then snip and pull through this is your strap secure I'm just pressing it in and here you can see me using the darning needle to hide all of my loose ends there is no specific 
technique I'm just trying to camouflage the loose ends within the stitches this is the most calming part so just take your sweet time with this and just know that the end is near and in a short while you'll be able to style your beautiful beach bag So that's it and there you have it, a beautiful beach bag. I hope you learned a lot from this tutorial. Um, thanks for watching and um, stay blessed and stay beautiful and see you on my next one. Bye!